Well, I'm sure many of you guys are looking at possibly having a summer job. You know, I need a summer job. I need a job, period. <laughs> so, I mean, we have a whole little package here, here at Emily Griffith. Um, students learn to do mock job interviews. One of the most important parts of a job is learning how to do this interview, learning how to talk to the people, making sure you're qualified for the job. And why don't we look at this so that you guys can have some brilliant interviews. of mock interviews is to give the students an opportunity to interview with some professionals out in the out in the industry. Uh, we recruit business people and we also use some of our staff in admin positions to help do the mock interviews. Purpose is to get the students to feel more comfortable when they go out and get a little more uh, just self-esteem, build their self-esteem, a little more confidence when they go out to do their interviews. The best thing that a student can do to prepare for an interview is to work through their resume. Uh, make sure that the resume is current, that it has good, clear information, that it's not cluttered. We have uh, help writing resumes across the way at the Student Success Center, getting someone to look at that resume in advance give a little bit of critique and tweaking that so that the information on there is presented in the clearest, uh, most easy to understand way. That's crucial. To I just had the interviews and uh, two of them are stressful. The first one was very stressful. Once you get into it, it gets a little easier. The favorite part of the interview would have to be uh, learning about taking the interview. So, I mean, I think that it definitely prepares you for the future. My interview that I just had was very easy. I was familiar in that field before, and I just rationalized that this is just a warm-up, so it kind of calmed me down. This interview was really helpful for me to do interviews. It made me more comfortable and uh, gave me feedback on what I need to do as far as to give a better, be a better interviewer, interviewee, I guess. <laughs> but it did help me out a lot with different areas I didn't know I had problems with, so this uh, play interview really helped out a lot. I would recommend this process to any student who wants to have an interview, who wants to excel. I see this as being a very valuable uh, activity and I see us maybe even expanding on it more. I would like to see us take each of our departments and, and recruit people strictly, let's say, for the trades and industry, maybe the design, College of Design, we could get, you know, and so right now it's more generic, it's just kind of over the board, but I'd like to get it more specialized. I think it would be more effective if we did that. I would like to let folks know that we uh, have started a working wardrobe here at Emily Griffith Technical College in order to help students uh, have clothes and professional attire. And so we are taking donations for male and female clothing. That was a brilliant segment. <laughs> I loved it. Didn't you see something online, Luigi, about a yeah, job we fair? we actually have a link on our Facebook page about a career fair. Yeah, there on May 15th, uh, which is tomorrow, there is a uh, career fair at the Colorado Convention Center, which is directly next door to Emily Griffith. So mm -hmm. um, all of our students are encouraged to go. Um, it's from 9 to noon, um, and anybody that's interested can just show up. Career fairs are really great opportunities for you to um, interact with different people in the field. You might want to have a couple copies of your resume to hand out. Um, just be prepared to, you know, interact with people, meet and greet, dress well, you know, dress for the job that you want. Um, that's happening tomorrow, uh, May 15th, from 9 to noon at the Colorado Convention Center, which, I, like I said, is directly next door to Emily Griffith. So if you are, again, unfamiliar with our school, that might be a really good opportunity for you to go check out some jobs and then come over to our school and see if you can maybe enroll in some classes that could help you get the job you want.